Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. So the scope of this video is to understand the how to find the indexes of a substring in a given string. And this is the 14th video of Python playlist. Technically, we are going to understand here four methods. One is the find, R find, index, and R index. We will be also having another method called re.search, which is also performing the similar task like others. But this method we are going to understand into this separate video where we are understanding the regular expression in Python. Okay, now let's continue with the four method that we have here. Out of four method, first method that we are going to understand here is find method. So find method technically have total three argument. Out of that, two argument is optional. One is that start and another one is that end. Whereas first argument is required means for which we need to find the matching string or matching indexes. Other than that, we have two optional. Now what could be the output of the find method? Find method will give you the two output. One, if the string is found and if a string is not found. If a string is not found, it will give you the minus one as a output. Whereas if a string is found, it will give you the lowest index where the string is matched or substring is matched. Now directly coming to the coding area in order to understand the what is the find method in Python having all three argument input string for find equal to API pothe out of this string I am just asking to find the API okay simple search it should give me the output as a zero. It is giving zero because IP API is starting from zeroth index. Whereas in the same way, if I want to find the as a P, okay, changing the argument here. P. Now it will give me the output as a zero one because P is available on first position which is the lowest one whereas p is also available there but find method is only interested to find the lowest index which is first matching indexes it is giving the one perfectly fine we have the another combination where we need to provide the optional argument this is the mandatory argument we definitely need to provide another two argument where we, we need to find the start index as well as the end index so start index i am just providing as a 3 and index i am interested to length of this string and instead of this string i want to change a b c d e f b h i a B C A A B C. So we have A B C here, we have A B C here, and we have A B C here. I want to provide the start index 0, 1, 2, 3 from here to end. So technically the output of this code it will give me the output of this indexes. So what will be the indexes? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess 8. Okay, it is, it is giving minus 1 because P is not there. I just missed to pass the argument as ABC. Okay. Now let me run again. It is giving the 9. Probably it is 9th position. Fine. We have the another variant here. Where I have, this one is the second one. I want to pass here as a 3, where I as a 3. And I wanted to pass as a x, y, z. Okay. Technically, x, y, z is not matching, not the substring of this string, right? Hence, it should return me the minus 1. So, it is returning the minus 1, which is perfectly fine. Now, coming to the another method. Called 
r find this was the find earlier one and now this one is the r find this one is the find method right now just copy same here instead of find i am interested to provide the r find only input string r find okay so here technically it will not give me the difference but here if i will pass one more output as a api pothi then we are able to track the differences so r find is exactly doing the opposite to the find find is giving me the lowest index or first matching index of the given string whereas r find is giving me the highest index of the matching string here api is matching here also which is the zeroth position as well as api is matching here also so it will give me the indexes of this api not the zero let me run this code here it is giving zero because here i need to change the argument string that's the reason it is giving the zero now let me run again it should not give zero it is giving the 10 which is fine zero one two three 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfectly fine. So it is giving me the highest index of the substring. Now coming to the another variant where I need to only interested to find the A. Okay. If you see here, we have the A here as well as we have the A here also. So technically, as per this code, API was giving the 10. Hence, this should also give me the 10 only. It is giving the 10. Now, just a little bit more. If I wanted to find i, right? So, I am giving i. i is everywhere, but it will give me the this i indexes, which one is the last, 18th. Now, to identify this one, if I will print, because calculating manually is not good so what i will do i will just pass this argument here okay now this should also give me the 18 then only we can understood that okay this one is the last one 19 i mean length minus 1 is 18 so which is fine then because indexes start from 0 right so length minus 1 so technically we got to know these are all now we have the another variant also here here we have passed the only one argument which is the mandatory one we have also we can also pass that another argument which is optional we have to pass the start index as well as the end index right so let me just copy this code paste it here so this one is i have not changed variable everywhere right it's good to change for the better tracking so now here I want to start index I want to give 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 I want to give here. Whereas end index I want to give the entire string, length of the string. Now what will happen is this API will only getting tracked from here to here. So not from here. Okay. So now the output would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, the output of this API and the highest index will be same only. Any of the API. So it will also give the same output. It is giving the 10 other than this one, right? So it is giving the 10. Now we have another more variant here. Call to to x y z okay so technically x y z is not found here hence it should return me the minus one it is returning minus one the so differences between find and r find is that find will give you the lowest index or lowest matched index or first matched index whereas r find will give you the highest matched index or last index last matched index okay now coming to the PPT. 
so now we also got to know the r find and we also coded for r find also coming to the another method called index index is also same as for the find only only differences between find and indexes is that find if substring not matched it will give the output as a minus 1 whereas indexes if string not matched it will give the error saying that substring not found which is the value error now coming to the coding let me copy this code paste it here okay this api pothi will give the same output as a this one okay so here output what was there zero this will also give me the zero only lowest index it is giving the zero perfectly fine now just want to put some more twist here i can pass the a also okay so instead of one it should be two now let me run this changes it is also given the zero because for a first index is the zero first matched index now coming to the another variant here we need to provide the another argument which is the optional but we can try passing the start index as well as the end index so start index i am passing 3 end index is the nothing but the length of the string i am trying to pass right so variable name i am changing it here giving the 3 copying this one I'm going to paste it here now api put t1 here just put it here instead of here you can put the x y z okay and then here we can pass api okay now this api is responsible to search from 0 1 2 3 from here to here and which one is the lowest it will give the output so lowest one is the 13th probably 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 fine now we have another variant here also i want to rename the variable as a 4 4 i am interested only to pass the one argument which is this one and here i am just saying that lkm okay now if i will execute this one lkm is not available here in this string hence it should give me the some output here if sub string is not matched it will throw the error saying that a string not matched a string not found value error so this is about the indexes we have the another same concept called r indexes I'm just copying entire code instead of changing everything. I'm just instead of indexes, I'm just keeping the R indexes. Okay. Now here I am passing R, 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 R. Let me verify again. The same is here. Same is here. D, O. Okay, done. So this, I am just commenting this code for now because it will give the error. Okay. And commenting this code also don't want to see the error. Okay. Now the between indexes and R, R indexes are just opposite where indexes was giving the output of the first matching or small one, a small indexes out of that. Whereas R index will give you the 
लास्ट मैच और हाईएस्ट इंडेक्सेस हाईएस्ट मैच इंडेक्सेस सो इफ आई विल रन दिस कोड हियर इज गिविंग द टेन टेन थर्टीन इफ यू कैलकुलेट हियर दिस इज दिस ए पी आई इज मैचिंग इज हियर ऑल्सो विच इज द जीरो पोजिशन बट इट इज गिविंग द आउटपुट फॉर दिस ए पी आई विच इज द हाइएस्ट वन वेर एज दिस ए इज ऑल्सो मैचिंग हियर बट दिस ए प्रोबेबली इट इज गिविंग आउटपुट ऑफ ए ए ए दिस वन राइट सेम एज हियर ए पी आई इज ऑल्सो मैचड हियर ओके एंड मैचड हियर बट इट इज गिविंग आउटपुट फॉर इंडेक्सेस फॉर दिस ए पी आई नाउ कमिंग टू द एरर पार्ट वेल एग्जैक्टली एल के एम इज नॉट मैचिंग हियर इफ आई विल रन दिस कोड इट विल गिव मी द एरर सेंग दैट सब स्ट्रिंग नॉट फॉन विच इज द वैल्यू एरर सो नाउ वी गॉट टू नो दट इज द इंडेक्स एंड आर इंडेक्स नाउ इफ यू कम्बाइन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑल सम हाउ द फाइंड एंड इंडेक्स बोथ आर सिमिलर वेर एज आर फाइंड एंड आर इंडेक्सेस आर सिमिलर making only one differences here so find will not throwing error if substring not found whereas all these two method it is throwing the error that saying that indexes and r indexes showing throwing error saying that string not found so that two method was throwing minus 1 whereas this throwing error so that is the differences so now we got to know the r indexes also and for respective coding also we also understood that what is the difference between find and indexes repeating again find will give you the minus 1 if a string not found or sub string not found whereas indexes will throwing error saying that a string not found r found and r indexes will also do the same R find will give you the minus one if a string not found, whereas R index will throw the error if a string not found. In the upcoming video, we are also going to understand the len, upper, lower, and strip method of a string function. Thanks for watching this video.